another episode of the Kalimbastic series. A few weeks ago, I asked you about your preferred ukulele. Although some of you answered that you would like to have a wooden one, a lot of you would like to learn more about the two. My follow-up question was, which area you would like me to focus on? And you say, sound. It goes like, recording versus performance versus practice. And there's one more, travel. Because I'd like to give you buying tips that were buying ukulele depending on the purpose of buying it. This is a plastic ukulele. And today, I'm going to review this one, comparing it to the sound of my wooden one. Now, what do I mean by sound? Recording versus performance versus practice and travel. If you're buying a ukulele, here are some stuff that you need to think about. Are you going to buy one because you're going to learn how to play the ukulele? Are you going to buy one so you'll have one for performance? Like you're going on stage. Or you're going to buy one for recording. Or maybe you want to travel somewhere and bring a ukulele with you. If you're interested to learn more about ukulele, or this particular ukulele right here, just keep watching. But I'll tell you now, I suggest that you will buy a ukulele depending on the purpose of using it. So you won't buy stuff impulsively. Now, let's see what Waterman by Kala has to offer. By the end of this video, you will see a comparison of the sound of plastic ukulele and wooden ukulele. Let's do this. Now let's go to the material. This is plastic and the only metal that you will find in this ukulele is this one. Since it's plastic, it also means that it withstands temperature, humidity, or pressure changes. Some wooden ukuleles react to those changes easily. So, this is called Waterman but it doesn't mean that you will play it underwater. It just means that it's fine to travel with this and to get wet. It also comes with this kind of bag. In other words, Kala suggests that you can bring it anywhere. Outdoor, to a mountain or a river, a cave. Bring it. <laughs> now, let's go to the price. The price of this ukulele is not really expensive. It costs about $39. Since I'm in Thailand, I bought it for 1,200 baht. This is affordable. Like, you won't be afraid bringing it outdoor because it didn't break your bank. What you're paying for here is the ergonomics. It means that when you want to travel and bring an instrument, you can bring this one. Now, let's go to the sound. The sound is not bad at all since you're not using it for recording or performance. I suggest you use it for practice or traveling. And I'll give you the sound test by the end of this video. Now, the only one thing that I don't like about this ukulele is the feels. In any instruments, there is this feels when you hold an instrument, the feels when you touch it and when you play it. If you're playing ukulele for more than 5 years, you know what I mean. Or suppose you're playing guitar and you go to a guitar store and you choose a guitar and play it. At that moment, you will know whether you're really interested in buying that guitar or just leave it there. Now let's listen to the sound of this ukulele. What is up, you kalimbackers? <laughs> you kalimbackers, eh? Subscribe now and be part of the conversation. Check out my other videos and see if we are in the same interest.